In this video on C Sharp Basics, let's take a look at NuGet packages. So NuGet packages are different projects that are released out online and are available for you to use in your own code. So these are projects that other people have created and make available to you online. Some of them are free and some of them you need to pay for. Typically, if they are projects that you need to pay for, then there will be a free trial version for you to test out. Now there are a couple of different ways you can get to your NuGet package manager. I'm going to go up to tools, NuGet package manager, and there are a few different options here. We can use the console or we can use this manage NuGet packages for solution. And then there's the package manager settings. I'm going to go ahead and select the manage NuGet packages for solution because this actually gives us a graphical user interface rather than trying to actually utilize a console. So here in our window where we manage packages for our solution, we can browse back and forth between just simply browsing what's online, what's installed currently for our project or our solution, check to see if there are any updates to already pre-installed packages, and then there's a consolidate option which allows you to actually consolidate uh, the different packages that are inst installed across your solution. I'm gonna go ahead and select browse, and one of the most common packages that's available to you is the Entity Framework. And the Entity Framework is a set of class libraries that allow you to interact with a SQL Server. I'm gonna go ahead and select Entity Framework. And over here, we can select which of the projects that we want to add the Entity Framework to. If I select the common project, I can now click on the different version that I want to install, going all the way back to 4.1.10311. I'm going to go ahead and get the latest stable version, and I'm going to select Install. Every once in a while, you'll need to review the different changes that are going to be made to your projects. I'm going to go ahead and click OK here, and there's our license acceptance, so I'm going to click I Accept. And now we're going to go ahead and install the packages for the Entity Framework. So Entity Framework has been installed, and now we can see that there is this packages.config file. And this is where we can see in an XML document where a reference to the ID for a NuGet package is, the version, and then the target framework. This is automatically created and generated and updated by the NuGet package manager. So we don't really have to do anything. I just wanted to show you that this is where the references are made to the Entity Framework and other packages that we install. So I'm gonna close out the packages.config file. And if I go up here to references, we can see that we now have some new references. We have the Entity Framework reference, the Entity Framework SQL Server reference, among others. Now inside of my common project, I can go ahead and add a new class item. And there have been some items added by the NuGet package manager for the Entity Framework. And if we look here in the data, we can see that there's one here called ADO.NET Entity Data Model. And that was added when we included the Entity Framework model uh, as a package. Now I'm not gonna get into what Entity Framework is. I just wanted to show you that we now have the option of selecting different items from the Entity Framework. Now if you wanna create some code that utilizes some of the classes that come in the Entity Framework package, I first suggest that you go ahead and right click on the reference and select this view in object browser. And this will give us a complete breakdown of all of the different namespaces that are here inside of the entity framework reference. So for example, here we have the system.data.entity namespace. And within the system.data.entity namespace, here are all of the different classes that are available to you within that namespace. One very common one would be the DB context, which is how you actually create a context that goes out to a database. Now, I'm not going to get into what Entity Framework does, and I'm not going to show you how that works. That's for another course altogether. But I just wanted to show you that these packages bring over a set of namespaces as well as some classes within each namespace.